And News 11's Valeria Rodriguez has been following the presidential preference election in Yuma County. And she continues our team coverage live from the recorder's office with reactions from some local politicians. Scott, I was able to speak to several lawmakers in Arizona. They were able to share with me their reaction in regards to the election from a local standpoint. Arizona State Representative Tim Dunn from Yuma said that voters have a lot to think about. The country's in a lot different spot than it was in 2022. Uh, so there's a lot, you know, the voters are going to have a lot of a different decision to make than it was back then. And so um, I think you're going to see a lot of excitement at the polls. Arizona State Senator Brian Fernandez was able to give some input on what some hot topics will be during these elections. The legal issues around Trump, and, I, and they may think the biggest issue is always going to be the economy and where we see uh, the economy going. Um, you know, inflation uh, had been going down. It took a little um, tick up. Yuma County Supervisor Tony Reyes shares what factors affect Donald Trump and President Biden now compared to four years ago. One was used to be the vice president of the United States and the other one served as president for four years. So there was a record to look at, uh, to look to. And I think that by now they're so well known that it's difficult to, 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 not, to not consider that as a, as a factor. We got to talk to some voters on why it's so important to vote in every election. It's not our, only our right, it's our duty. We, we will stand before God and be accountable for everything we do, one way or the other. If you don't vote, you'll be accountable. And if we do vote, we're going to be accountable. Yes. Number one, it's your civic duty. The other thing, too, is we're responsible for what we get, for what happens in our state. The current, turn, the current voter turnout right now is at 26%. Make sure to visit our website at kyma.com to stay up to date with the latest election results. Reporting live in Yuma, Valeria Rodriguez, News 11. And the Imperial